हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एजुकेटर्स डॉट कॉम आई एम प्रीति राठी इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन फॉर लूप एंड नेस्टिंग ऑफ द लूप्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वील डिस्कस ब्रेक कंटिन्यू एंड गो टू स्टेटमेंट द टॉपिक्स विच वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस वीडियो आर ब्रेक स्टेटमेंट इन सी एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ब्रेक देन कंटिन्यू स्टेटमेंट इन सी एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कंटिन्यू and then we'll check out go to statement in c break statement in c now most of the time we come across such a situation when we want to come out of the loop immediately without waiting for completion of the loop so the keyword break allows us to do this when break is encountered inside any loop control automatically passes to the first statement after the loop whenever break is executed it will come out of the loop and the first statement after loop will be executed now again break can be used to come out of switch also that we have already seen now this is one of the example for break statement here we want to find out whether the given number is prime or not so here we are asking for the number reading the number using scanf then we are starting i as a 2 and then we are checking this condition till i is less than or equal to the actual number minus 1 but inside loop we are checking that if we divide this number by i and the remainder is 0 then in that case we can conclude that this number is not a prime and we don't need to go for the other iterations so as soon as we found that this number is has become divisible by some other number we can execute break which will make the control to jump directly out of the while loop and here we'll check that if i and num are equal then only we'll say it is a prime number so if we came from the loop in between then i and num will not be same and this prime number will not be executed so we'll get output as not a number not a prime number similarly we have continue statement in c now in some programming situation we want to take the control to the beginning of the loop bypassing the statement inside the loop which have not yet been executed means in a particular scenario we want to skip few of the statement and again go back to the next iteration of the loop then we can use continue statement when continue is encountered inside any loop control automatically passes to the beginning of the loop and starts with the next iteration of the loop now in this example we have nesting of the for loop then we are checking that if i and j are same then we want the numbers should not be displayed so we are executing continue means it will make it to go back to the next iteration of same loop so in this case we will get the output of i and j but whenever they become same that output will be not will not be printed so continue makes the control to go to the start of the loop to the next iteration of the loop by skipping the statement after continue now next we have go to statement go to statement is used to jump to a particular statement labeled by the statement given in go to means on a particular condition we want to skip few of the statement and directly jump to some label then we can use go to statement as in this example we are reading some number into goals if goals are less than or equal to 5 then directly we are jumping to this label by skipping this three statements now go to can be used again if we want to come out of the nested loop because as we have seen if i use break in a loop then we can break only the current loop in which break is executed but if i have two or three loops nested and on a particular scenario i want to come out of all the loops then we can use go to now we'll check out this programmatically
Now in this example again we have included stdio.h and conio.h then main method is our entry point. Now here I will declare some variable. and we will create a loop where we will have i equal to 1 as a initialization i is less than equal to 4 as a condition and then i plus plus now in this loop I will display this value of i But if i's value is 3, then we don't want to display it. Or if i's value is 3, then we will come out of the loop. So we can have if i is equal to 3, then we want break. So as we have discussed, break will make it to come out of the loop. And if I provide some statement at this level, that is out of the loop or something, So we'll find that as soon as i becomes 3, this statement will be executed. Now I'll execute this. See i is 1, i is 2. As soon as i has become 3, directly it is coming out of the loop and the first statement after loop is executed. That is out of loop. So we can say that break makes the control to jump directly out of the loop. It can be used in a for loop, while loop or do while loop. Now if I replace this break with continue, then as we have discussed continue makes it to go back to the next iteration of the loop by skipping the statement provided after continue. So what we accept, expect first i will be 1 then it will become 2 as soon as it becomes 3 next iteration will be executed so it will not break all the loop and come out but it will go to the next iteration so i is 1 i is 2 as soon as i is becoming 3 it's skipping the loop skipping the body which is provided after continue statement and directly going to the next iteration of the same loop and it is continuing with that. So i equal to 4 is still displayed. So we can say that if I'll give break control comes out of the loop that is first statement after the loop will be executed. If I execute continue it makes it to continue with the next iteration of the loop bypassing the statement which is provided after continue. Now we will check out the example which we have seen for prime number. We will ask value of i from end user. Then we will read it. by giving ampersand i. Now we will create one number, we will declare one number here that is a counter. Suppose c and I will make this c as 2 because we want to divide, we want to start the division from 2 not from 1. then we will have while loop this c is less than i so till it is less we want to go on dividing as soon as it becomes equals then obviously it will be divisible so we will come out of the loop then I have one if statement where I will check that whether this i if I use modulus operator with c and if it gives remainder as 0 then we want to conclude that it is a prime number
prime number i is a prime number and we'll execute break i is not a prime number because it has become divisible then we'll execute break and here we'll increment counter that is c so in this example we are checking that starting from 2 till the number is less than i we want to find out whether the remainder is 0 if remainder is 0 we will conclude it is not a prime number if it is not 0 then at the end we will check out if c and i are same then we will print it is a prime number Now we will execute this. If I will give 4, I am getting it is not a prime number. If I will give 3, I am getting 3 is a prime number. So this way we can use break to come out of the loop on a particular scenario without waiting for completion of the loop. Then we can use break. Now similarly we'll check the example of go to. Now if I'll ask user to enter some value for i enter val then we'll read it. Now if I get this i less than 5 then we want to jump to a particular statement by skipping few of the statement. Because say or suppose we are asking for the marks from a user and if user enters marks more than 100 then which is not possible so we will conclude that this input is a wrong and we will jump to the end of the application. If the value is correct then we'll execute that you have entered so many marks. So we will check out if i is greater than 100 then directly we want to jump to a another ABC statement. Here ABC is a label which we will provide in our application itself. So that as soon as the condition matches it will directly jump to ABC label. And here I'll execute you got marks equal to percent D which is present in I variable. So we'll display this. So now if the marks given are less than 100 or equal to 100 we will get you got marks and the value. But if it is not, then directly it will come to ABC. And after ABC, any executable statement is fine. I can even just keep get CH. If we want to find out that it is at the end, so I will just put one statement as end. Now we will execute this. Now if I will enter some value which is greater than 100, so directly we are coming to end. But if I will enter some value in the range, say 60, then we will get you got marks, the value and then end. So this way we can jump to a particular statement provided by the label by skipping all other statement which are present in between. 
now sometime if we'll go for nesting of the loops and if on a particular condition we want to come out of the all loops then brake cannot support that because as we have seen brake will make the control to come out of the current loop in which we are executing brake but in that scenario we can use go to and directly make it to come out of the all the nested loops we will check out that practically suppose i have nesting of the loop say i'll go for two variables i and j then if i have for loop where i is initialized to 1 i is less than equal to something and i plus plus now i'll create another loop where i'll use j equal to i j is less than equal to 3 and j plus plus now here i am going to print the value of both i and j but while printing i have a scenario that if j becomes 2 then we want to come out of the all the loops we don't want to continue with this or if i becomes to something like this so if i'll put break statement here then it will continue with the outer loop because break will make it to come out of the inner loop only so we'll check out this output first you can see here i is 1 j is 1 fine then as soon as i i was 1 and j has become 2 it will come out of the current loop that is the inner loop and it is still working with the outer loop that is i is 2 i is 3 like this but if my requirement is as soon as j has become 2 i don't want to continue with both of the loop i just want that the control should be given outside so i can label here as a abc it can be any abc xyz anything and then i'll say go to abc so in this case both loops it is coming out of the both loops as soon as j has become 2 it's not continuing with the next iteration of outer loop as well so in this scenario again we can use go to but it is suggested that avoid the use of go to because it makes it the application to jump from here and there which is difficult in the stage of debugging and maintenance so it should be avoided so here we have seen use of break continue and go to we have seen break is used if i want to come out of the loop continue is used if i want to go for next iteration go to can be used if i want to jump directly to a particular statement now in next tutorial we will check out functions thank you